Fit like a D, Danny Boy here, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever. We are following one of our Caledonian railway trains. It looks like the Caledonia uh, East Coast, the Scottish Northeastern. We're going to be adding some more Caledonian trains. So, we're going to be doing routes from Fort William down to Glasgow and Oban down to Glasgow. And then we're going to try and go from Inverness up to Wick. Uh, we're also going to get a ferry from Stornoway here and try and bring it around some way, somehow. If we can go through here, that would be magic, into Oban there. That would be pretty cool. But yes, so these lines, essentially the Fort William and Oban line, are pretty much done. They are built. They just need trains on them. Now, nothing currently heads up here, right? Let's just check. No, we've got a uh, Edinburgh to Glasgow express train and a Glasgow to Carlisle express train. Now, some of these lines are being used. We have two spare. That's excellent. Uh, I was going to change this train here, but I'm just going to leave it. We've got some blue carriages coming in. Uh, we've got a mix of trains there. We're going to add the two new trains. So let's just check this again. So this platform here is free. Excellent. Right, let's have a signal there. Yep, I think it was also this platform... No, that one's being used. This one over here is not being used. So let's give me one there as well. Excellent. Then this can be the sort of passenger route. The other side can be used for freight. Let's close that for the moment. Uh, bring these back up. So dink and dink. And then it folds into one, which isn't a problem, but we'll sort of set this up, future-proof it, and then we'll head round here. Now there's no goods running in Scotland yet, there's very little goods running over in Ireland. Uh, there's goods here and there sort of running. Uh, don't need that there, actually. Bulldoze that. It looks like the, there's some new... this icon is definitely new. Is the new patch out? I will have to investigate. It feels like it is. I do have this set up for uh, just automatically installs like beta patches when they come out. I'm not sure if that's been a thing though because we've only really had one <laughs> one patch presently. Now I am going to need a crossover here. Now right now We'll utilize that. No, we won't, because it's pretty, pretty darn awful. You go away, please. Yes. Right, so we'll get diamond in here. I mean, if there is a new patch, that's great, because it means that it didn't interfere with any of the mods or stuff that we are currently running. Frames and stuff still seem to be the same. I'll have to sort of check out the patch notes. Hopefully there were some performance uh, enhancing things done. I mean, we're, we're getting decent frame rate here, but there's nothing, there ain't nothing up here. It's a barren wasteland of mountain and valley, the highlands. Of short land. Right, let's go down here. I've made this a two for reasons unknown. Now, there is no train that goes from Oban up north, sort of Fort William direction. It just sort of, there's a main line that goes up, and this one sort of branches off, and then it comes off and goes down. There might be one now, but there wasn't one back in the day, I don't think. Or there may have been one back in the day, but I don't think there is one now. Let's place those there. Right, so this will be an express. 
Uh, let's actually do them from Glasgow. I think it's easier. Let's bring this up again. Just get me trains. Pop you up there. So, platform one and three. Platform one and three are the platforms we are currently looking for. So, add a new line. Dink. And platform one. Excellent. Let's make it red since it is an express line. So, train that uses platform one. <coughs> excuse me, is going to head up to Oban. Right, it's for some reason doesn't want to utilize both sides of said track. And it's going to have to. Uh, because there's no crossover down at this side. Now, I probably could get them in here. Let's just have a look. Yeah, that bulldozer icon is new, which leads me to believe that something new has been added to the game. Now, I don't remember doing any patch download or any update, but I do often switch my computer on and then go and do something else. Even though it virtually takes seconds to sort of load everything up. Right, now line one, have you? Yes, you have. That's nice. Uh, it won't be line one, it will be EXP Glasgow Open. Excellent. Right, that is one line done. Uh, we now we want platform three for this one, so. Oh yes, it's picked the free platform. There is a crossover over here and Fort William. Looks good, looks good. Comes along here. Splits off from this one. Crosses over there. Excellent. Let's make you red also. And you shall be... EXP. Glasgow Fort W Fort William right excellent now where do I want to launch these trains from now I'm thinking about adding a depot up here uh, there is a line that goes from Glasgow to Carlisle it does pretty well I think 22 and the train is just on its way back it's got an astonishing view as it comes around here so that's pretty cool. Where is that train currently? It's there. Looks like I just used a generic train for this, which is all good. 40 miles per hour, lovely little wagons there. Excellent. So adding these lines up here, we'll use our shiny new Caledonian railway trains. Now one is a mixed uh, service train. So it should, I don't want to delete any of those trees because I like them. But I won't delete any trees if I place them in there. Yeah, one is mixed goods, uh, mixed service. The other one is just solely passenger service. Now, like I said earlier, there ain't no goods in Scotland as of yet. But let's have a look. First one for Oban. We want to use this. The class 179. This is the mixed traffic. So it was outside cylinder, smaller wheels. Ideal for those nippy freight services. But we're going to use it for a nippy little express service. So I want one of those passengers. Now I have been rolling the teak. These. It does 50 miles per hour. Excellent. That is in range. Do I want to colour them blue? I've been colouring them blue because... Four, five, six. Yeah, six is fine. Buy that. Set it on... EXP Glasgow Carlisle. Oh, it's nuts. EXP... Should be real passenger. So it's a, it will actually be at the top. Yep. Glasgow open and we'll rename that in just a second. 
Auto save. How is it going? Uh, you are going to be stuck. Or at least you ain't going to be able to come out till he arrives. Because he is presently en route. Right, the train has made an appearance. Let's look at it. Oh yes, 117. It used to be my old house number. So, <laughs> 117. That's pretty cool. I do like it. <coughs> I'm not sure if I like the blue. I kind of do. It is very blue though. Blue is probably my least favourite colour. Green, definitely a favourite. Right, that train is way back, so let's get the next one rolling. It'll clear. One has left. It'll be able to clear, and the next one will be able to go. So I want this. The Caledonian Railway 123, the 422. It set many records. Well, that is super duper cool. Right. And for this, we want passengers. I want to use these. 75. This train does 75, 1, 2, 3, plus that gives us a capacity of 56, which is very nice, by, set it on, Fort William line. Now I want to see this one as well. We're going to use this train also, uh, for the line that goes from Inverness up to Wick. Now we will need commuter route at least in Oban. Oban's the only one that doesn't have one because it's not connected to anything yet. Uh, the Fort William is connected to the sort of northern or the height of the sort of northern highlands in our city that I've got. But this looks nice. Look at it. It's awesome. Getting a real weird Edward from uh, Thomas the Tank Engine vibe there, but that's cool. So you have changed over because you're going into that platform. The other train that goes to Oban has gone. Now the only issue I have with this is this train does 45 miles per hour. 45 miles per hour is a great train behind it though does 75. So it's got a 30 mile an hour uh, sort of higher speed so it may catch up in this one and this other one may hold it up but it will have times where it's got free roam to do as ever it may please now commuter route in Oban did I actually I might have actually set it up no you did not that's totally fine now this is on a hill which scares me already now, I'm not going to give Oban huge, humongous r roads, but I at least want to get rid of these little smaller ones. Right, you are not actually connected to anything at all. So, pull that out of there. You now are. Uh oh, uh oh, hello, game. I mean, I will demolish one or two houses to get this in. Yeah, right. Right, connect that to there. Will you connect to that? Sometimes it does give you... There we go, delete those buildings. That is totally fine. I think I'll have, like, the bus station over here. Yeah, it's connected there. Sort of a weird squint station. It's kind of... It's triggering me slightly. Oh, this is bad. No, it's not. It's not that bad, actually. Alright, I've got a plan. Buildings! Give me that. By era, but there's, there's no, not really anything to add on here. Have it just go in and then go around. Perfect. Right. Give me that. So it's going to want to come down here and then up there. 
and then we should be good. Train has arrived. Probably no new passengers. And this will be yellow, because it will be a commuter. And this will be open com numero uno. Sweet. And probably no passengers in there. No. Because it wasn't connected. Now it is. People can actually get to it. Right, there's no depot here as of yet. We shall get one. I am going to flatten this out and get a ferry terminal in there. We'll do that next. Actually, streets, buildings. Is there a ferry that goes to Oban to Stornoway? Can't remember. There is absolutely a ferry that goes to Stornoway. Can't remember where it leaves from. There is one at least from Aberdeen that goes up to like the Shetland Lerwick. Uh, the Shetland and Orkney Islands. Which I'm not sure don't I think that they're further up. So Because when you go offshore there are oil rigs that are just on the border of the Norwegian Sea. So what you do is you fly from Aberdeen, you come up here. You run along the coast of here. Uh, there are small airports in Orkney and Shetland where you land. They then refuel and then head further up north. That's the worst flight. You don't want to be on that flight uh, because it's a three plus hour flight. And sometimes if the wind is behind them, they don't need to refuel until they reach the rig. So it's a full on three hour sitting in a helicopter. You can take a book or a newspaper, no iPads, no music, no laptop, just a paper or a book. So, and all you have is the sound of the rotor blades droning in your ears for three hours. It's either really hot or really cold. The seats are super uncomfortable. Uh, you do, you do sit next to someone and it's extremely cramped so if the guy or lady you are sitting next to is of the overweight class then it's it's, it's no bueno so I'm quite tall but I'm, I'm thin so if I get in the helicopter first the sort of larger people see me and think oh my god there's heaps of space next to that guy look how skinny he is and they always sit next to me so it's a, it's a nightmare. There are some choppers do have just the rows of single seats on each side. They're much better. They're much better for me because I'm taller so I can leave my legs out to the side. But apart from that, yeah, the helicopter flights, ugh, they suck. So, uh, what am I doing? I want to delete those. Yes, right, that's what I want to do. I want to set them. And I want to set them on the Oban commuter route. Now, will I set them on the Oban commu commuter route? Absolutely not. Not yet. Because we should probably get this in. Right, docks outside of navigatable waters. That is understandable. Now, I do like this little thing here, although I'm going to have to get rid of it to try and get the docks in. Uh, that's a train station. A floating train station would ultimately be the coolest thing, but right, just try and leave it on the edge there. That's large, yes. Yeah, we do have large dock in place there uh, but yep yeah, so that's the that's the helicopter stories so a lot of people are actually quite terrified of the helicopter there's been a lot of really bad accidents in the North Sea and in Norway involving helicopters so some people are genuinely terrified to get on them. I am not. I remember being in Vegas a couple of years ago. We went for the the Grand Canyon 
helicopter tour. And the pilot was actually super cool. So he'd actually been in the American Air Force and then he went over to the UK and he actually flew. He worked for a company that does, that flies choppers out to the rigs. And then he moved back to America, got that job in Vegas doing that and he's done it ever since. So right before the start of the tour, before we did the induction for the helicopter and stuff, he, uh, he'd asked everyone, you know, is this your first time in a helicopter? Is everyone excited? And I was like, oh, God, no. <laughs> and he's like, oh, he's like, you're not scared. I was like, no, I literally have to get on one of these, uh, like, once every two weeks. So I'm not particularly a fan and then he saw me putting on my, we had like life jackets and stuff. Because there is actually water in the Grand Canyon, quite a lot of it, actually. And he saw me tying my life vest and tying away the straps. Which he was like, and then he noticed, he knew straight away, he's like, yep, you're definitely one of those guys that's been on North Sea helicopters because that's the way you're taught uh, when you're going offshore in the North Sea to tie your uh, your spare, your extra length strap that you have on your life jacket so but he was good, the guy was sound once we got there we had like dinner and stuff so he was like sitting next to me speaking about it so he'd been to the place where I live uh, he had a motorbike and he did a tour around Scotland, around the Highlands and everything, he really loved it. But yeah, even he agreed that, yeah, the North Sea helicopters were no bueno. It was good for him as a job, he really enjoyed it, but yeah, he's, he says he often did feel for the people sitting in the back. Right, here we go though, this will be interesting to see where this thing actually goes. I was hoping it would come this way. It did. It takes odd route there. <laughs> the pathing of ships in Transport Fever, irregardless of Transport Fever one or two, is something to be desired. It's uh, they pick odd, really odd sort of pathing uh, structures. Right, but that's in. Now I don't know where I want it to go first. But I do know that the commuter route for this is going to have to come down here. Now I'm not actually sure what I sent the original one. I sent the original one down here, did I? That doesn't seem like something I would do at all. I did, but it's up there. That covers everything up to where that station actually is. So, delete that. I actually like, like this new bulldozer cursor. Because it seems it's, it's a lot more accurate. Right, so all that should now be covered. If I click on this... Yeah, it's covered all that. This is all covered here. It should be covered down there. Awesome, right. You go away. I can now set those two vehicles on the open commuter line. Off they pop. And now I want a ship. So I'm thinking, adding that to here. Now that's the back, yes. Okay. Interesting. Just go there. Perfect. Uh, flatten that. I don't want these weird cliffs. They don't particularly bother me. There we go. And I want a Denara Castle. Oh, actually, I do not. I want a steamship ferry. Right. Ship 76 is going to go on line 1. Now we shall have to rename line one. 
so it will be passenger ferry is it passenger ferry though I keep forgetting my name in conventions passenger ship PS I actually prefer passenger ferry better hmm it's changed now though PS and it's gonna be open storm storm away auto save anytime today please now I will once buses get better as well do a line that goes round here an inner city bus as one may call it that's looking okay actually uh, yeah an inner city bus up to Fort William that'll be something that happens so that is now done but we need commuter service up here in Stornoway now there's not much happening up here in Stornoway uh, there's not much happens up here in Stornoway in real life which directions the arrow facing yeah go that way right and then have another one there all right obviously we don't need any train or anything up here streets new line pick a new line go there there and there make it that color change it to storm calm one whoops one Right, Stornoway. Stornoway is basically done. Now I actually need to place vehicles on here. That would probably have to be a thing. Let's just get them a nice little road depot. Now, I know I hate these really small roads, but in really small towns and, and villages, I'll keep them. Uh, one, two. Don't think the land or, or any sort of vehicle of this combustion engine configuration in the 1891 actually reached Stornoway. Ships, absolutely, definitely. But I don't think road vehicles. I think it would have been <coughs> horse and cart or horse and wagon to the bitter end. Now, Wick, hello Wick, my old friend. I actually work with a few people offshore that live here in Wick. Uh, I want a train station, yes I do. I want a building. I want a two. Just keep it at 160. It's gonna be fairly flat to start with, so. Pop you right into there. That is fantastic. Now, train line is going to come along here beside this road around here. I've actually built half of it. It would seem. Well, that's good. Well done, me. Oh, God. Now, beside Inverness. There is a, a really cool, oh, there's a, a nice bridge in Furness. It's a road bridge, uh, but it is a, uh, it's a suspension bridge. It's pretty cool. There is also the, the Isle of Skye. There's a bridge for the uh, sky. Uh, Isle of Skye would actually be over here on, the, uh, is, would that be it there? I think it would be up here. So there's a really cool bridge that goes along. There is a underground naval base here as well, where they uh, where they do submarine torpedo testing. And apart, it's pretty interesting. It's it's obviously owned by the Royal Navy, but uh, there are a lot of American ships. Uh, apparently, like Russians have come across to test torpedoes there and stuff. 
because there's this underground firing range, which is an underwater firing range or something. Can't remember. Someone told me that. <laughs> I don't know if it's true. It was a local person, and it was actually a. I don't know if he was. A, I don't think he was a sailor. I think he was just one of the guards that, or base personnel, that worked there. So, but I have uh, my mother knew people who lived up there, and they used to have this nice little. Uh, old farm cottage that they had renovated and done up. I used to go there quite a lot in the summer because it's really nice, beautiful. There's nice mountains to climb, trails. Uh, the weather up there is always super good. There's a little ferry that goes from a place called called Glen Elg over to the Isle of Skye. It's actually called... I can't remember what it's called, but... It, uh, yeah, it's nice. So, been there a few times. There is an old World War II uh, mine laying ship in the bay at the, I think it's Kyle, Kyle of Lochalsh, is the, the name of the little town where the naval base is. And there's a mine laying ship there, and actually they scuttled it during World War II because there was a fire on board. And it was loaded with so many mines that they had to sink it before the mines blew. And then just maybe about 10, 20 years ago, the the government actually sent divers down to retrieve the mines because it was still actually, even though it was underwater, still a danger uh, to the town. So there's a little boat tour that takes you on the, it's like a bottomless glass boat tour. Takes you on a tour of the wreck. Now, I, I'm tempted to push this suspension bridge 56. But I'm scared. So we're gonna, we're gonna save it first. There we go. I actually need to delete some of these saves. I read somewhere that if you've got too many transport fever saves it uh, in fact yeah, we'll make this 46.5 yeah if you've got too many transport fever saves it actually makes the game slower don't know if that's true but I'm going to have a clear out of it uh, tonight and we're going to try the suspension bridge again now I think the reason it crossed before is because I just sort of built it halfway. I think it needs to actually be between two points for it to work. But, moment of truth, we are about to find out. Now I'm tempted to take this one. No, it crossed again. Or did it? That's cool, but it didn't add the actual suspension cables. Is it not long enough for suspension cables? Okay, hold the fort. Right, what if I delete this? Because the, the cool... Yeah, this bulldozer is much better. It's much more accurate for finding little bus stops and waypoints and stuff. <coughs> Right, let's try this again. Streets. You go across there. Right, now there's plenty of pillars. If I select that for that. But there's no suspension. Again, there's no bit in, there's no other pillar. So it needs to be long enough. To get this in. But they are very cool. I must add. Okay, right, let's we're gonna we're gonna keep trying this. So apparently it needs to be super long in order to work. 
surely that is long enough. Yeah, we've got the tram truck electronic. Let's do that. Try that. Do that. Uh, no. It does not seem to want to give me the suspension bridge. Is it maybe too early in the game for suspension bridge? We could try it later. I'm pretty sure it needs a, a pillar at each end, but I'm pretty sure that bridge we just made there, in fact, let's try something else. Is that flat? Yes. There we go. So it needs to be flat as well. So that's really cool. That is really cool. And that's pretty cool. It needs to go one in the middle there and long enough to go across here. Okay. So it needs to be long. That's clearly not long enough. Okay, don't panic. Is this going to be long enough? Now this is heading up. As we can blatantly see here. We are gonna have to, we're gonna want it to sort of go on the flat. Or do we want it to go on the flat? Yeah, we can make it flat. Where did I pull that from? Over there. No, oh, I think it needs to be. <gasps> that is beautiful! Give me that. Mmm. Give me this. I like it. Okay, so super duper cool bridge there. This is excessive just for one line. But I like it. So I was super upset when I couldn't get my fourth... Uh, fourth road... Fourth rail bridge mod to work. But this one works. Maybe pull that down a touch. Oh well, I am actually super happy with that. I really am. <coughs> now, even though this looks cool, we could change this for something else, perhaps. Uh, let's go. Now, this mod here... That looks good. That also looks good. I like this as well. I like that as well. But it doesn't place any girder bridge. Ah, now it places pillars. If you select that. So if I click on this. Now it works. It works. Okay, which one do I want? That's kind of cool. Fire Dirk, that's kind of cool. Alright, so this gives me wall or something else. Garda Bridge. That's it in a different color. Oh, that's nice. Do you have that in blue? No, but you've got it in grey. Uh, we went for the plain old grey. I like it though. It's very nice. <laughs> and... Oh, I can't get this bridge in because it's not long enough. I could if I took it all the way out there. No, in fact, we'll just make this road. We'll make this something cool as well. Uh, right. How's that look? There you go, that's cool. Right. So this will be an interesting line that heads up here. 
Uh, it's pretty much done. It just needs this. Oh, it's super tight. Is this going to work? It did. Awesome. Right, let's go there. And there. Now, I can't launch the train from that side because I'm actually terrified to put signals onto that bridge as well. But there only will be one train running on it. And this will be a nice little scenic route running across here. It's quite long as well, so the train should get up to a decent sort of speed. Now, making that long is a good idea, a bad idea, good. That there, that there. Right, we're going to need a commuter route here. Up in lovely, lovely Wick. Fuck, let's get the train done first. So, skidoosh. Two there. Oh, auto save again. Come on. Right, you did not cross over. <coughs> As intended. Is there a break in the line? Negative. You do have the power. Right, there is, there is an issue, so there's a break right here, it's right there. That could have been the only, the only issue. So make it red, change it to EXP RLP for real passenger, Inverness, Inver, to wake. Right, that is done. I also need to rename uh, the two other ones as well. I'll do that just now, lest I forget. EXP, Real Passenger, Glasgow Fort William. Yep, numerous, diff uh, numerous vehicles are in horrible condition. <coughs> this we are painfully aware of. Uh, RLP. Right, you're done. Right, train. Inverness Station. Now you served your purpose there. But it's okay, you have another purpose to serve. Can't remember which line the train goes in on, <laughs> so we'll have it go up there. Might want to branch that off for freight at some point. It looks okay though. It does look okay. I'm going to change the T bridge as well because this bridge here for the train is actually like girders and stuff. It's a steel bridge or an iron bridge. Steel arch bridge, I think. But yeah, we've got this one going. Right, so we need the train now. So we want to buy vehicles. We want this again. The one, two, three. Boom. Uh, passenger. One, one, two, three, fourth. Buy. Set line. EXP RLP Inverness to Wick. Excellent. Now that will come out. We shall grab it as it comes down there. I'm going to get a commuter route set up here 
first though. Buildings by era. Right, we don't want that, we want this. I want to configure this to have a second street access. I then want second street access to come along down here. Huh, right. Have it go in a straight line. It does need to come out a slight touch. Pop you into there. Pop that into there. Sweet. Uh, buildings. Yeah, head over there. Head over there. One, two, three. Yellow. Wick. Com. One. I'm going to push pause. Uh, did that change? Wick. Com. One. It did. Right, perhaps have your depot like. Now, there's tons of space here in Wick. Yeah, we'll get one of those. We'll mix and match. Excellent. Get me one and two off. Set their maintenance to high. Apply and all the way down to wick. Come on. Right, let's head over to the bridge. Oh, it's so huge now. Can't miss it. Oh, it's awesome. <coughs> Oh, lovely. What does it look like going over? Oh, it's super cool. Excellent. Well, I actually really like it. I'm so happy that it got it to work. I was slightly terrified when it crashed the first time we used it down on the Brighton South Coast, but now it works. So you see, you did not place the the legs of the bridge, but you did. You just started one in the middle, that's fine. But yep, so we've got some new trains up and running. 196, uh, 75 miles per hour. The coaches do 75 miles per hour. Ah, it's a beautiful model as well. Love this shiny steel platinum bit, whatever it is. Probably a plaque with something written on it. Ah, it's awesome. How fast are you going? 48, 49. It did have to... Oh, it did have to slow down for that corner. Now it can speed up again. Excellent. But we're going to leave it there for that episode. We'll quickly go and check the other two. How fast are you going now? I'm assuming it will get up to about 60. Maybe more. There's our fateful bridge in the background. Excellent. Yeah, let's check in with the other two trains before we for a bail out. Uh, hello? They're all down at Glasgow. There's one. And there's the other one. This is a 45 miles per hour one. It's lost a tiny bit of its shine. We haven't been setting trains to uh, carry excessive maintenance. This one's probably lost a bit of its shine as well. But that's what happens. Steam engines. I mean, they just got covered in coal suit, so... That was weird. See that? That animation? But yeah, we are going to leave it there for that episode. So, as always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave 
a like, comment or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there is more you would like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. I've been Danny Boy, this has been Transport Fever 2 on the UK map, and I will catch us later.